Vertigo is a medical term which is also referred to as dizziness. In majority of cases, it is associated with problems of the inner ear and some brain disorders. Due to the fact that vertigo corresponds to anomalies within the brain, it is a serious condition which should not be ignored at any cost. Medical intervention is a must. Basic knowledge on vertigo treatment and management is necessary to gain better understanding of this symptom. Treatment for vertigo is dependent upon the specific causes, the underlying condition of the patient that presents such symptom and its severity. Among patients with inner ear disorders, symptoms of vertigo disappear following complete treatment of the disorder. However, in more serious cases wherein vertigo is coupled with vomiting, medications are usually prescribed. A physician will assess the patient's condition and determine the safest drug that can manage and control the symptoms. Vertigo secondary labyrinthitis require a relatively conservative treatment. One of the distinct characteristics of labyrinthitis is the sensation of spinning around. An effective way to manage this is to lie supine within a dark room. Doing so can actually relieve the feeling of nausea. This condition usually resolves over time but nevertheless should be consulted to a physician to get medical advice. Antibiotic therapy is usually recommended by a physician in cases wherein bacterial infection is apparent. There is a relationship between vertigo and motion sickness. Antiemetic drugs are prescribed to patients suffering from vertigo secondary to motion sickness especially where travel is concerned. Most patients respond positively to antiemetic drugs and vertigo is effectively controlled. These drugs' mechanism of action is primarily focused on the inhibition of the particular function of the brain responsible for dizziness that causes the person to vomit. Antiemetic drugs are also prescribed to vertigo associated with migraine, labyrinthitis and disorders of the inner ear. For vertigo secondary to high blood pressure and poor blood circulation, aspirin is usually the drug of choice. Vertigo caused by Meniere's disease is usually managed using drug combination therapy. Antiemetic medication is combined with antihistamines to manage the symptoms of vertigo. Antihistamine drugs help in diminishing the frequency or occurrence of vertigo. Vestibular rehabilitation can also serve as a management for vertigo. Exercises that promote balance as well as activities concerned with eye movements and eye coordination are performed in the rehabilitation program. Certain modifications of these exercises are usually made to suit patients' needs and address specific presentation of vertigo. A doctor should be consulted prior to doing the exercises for vertigo treatments.